Brought to you by Almond Auctions, the worldwide leader in antique tractor auctions. This stylish looking machine got its start from a traditional IH340 tractor. But with its racy looks and molded fiberglass body, this is one farm tractor that's unlike anything you've ever seen. But this is the only one. There's only one of these tractors built. It was built mostly to get some experience with a single shaft gas turbine and, a, and a, uh, to develop a prototype that uh, we could uh, run some tests with and see, find the good and bad points of it. Former IH engineer Eugene Wallace knows this tractor well. He did the last part of the research program with what came to be called the HT341. The HT stood for hydrostatic turbine. The key difference was the, uh, uh, the fact that it had a gas turbine in it. And this is at the point in time when many companies in the industry were looking at gas turbines with the thought that they may eventually replace the, the gasoline or diesel engine. The turbine engine was built by an IH subsidiary called the Solar Aircraft Company. The entire power plant in this tractor weighed just 90 pounds, but it could produce more than 80 horsepower. The gas turbine is located right in here, and it's a small engine. It's, it's only the space from about here to here is all it takes. With a hydrostatic transmission, the HT341 actually ran on military jet fuel, with a fuel tank tucked away behind the driver's seat. But its biggest drawback was poor fuel economy. Now, the I&I &I Tractor Club at Penfield, Illinois, has the experimental machine on loan from the Smithsonian Collection. It makes me feel real good. It's, it's something that's an, an accomplishment to get stuff out to the people who do really appreciate it. It also brings a part of the Smithsonian to, to the general public who many times for one reason or another can't, can't come to Washington to, to see it. Not much more than a museum piece now, the HT341 is a real conversation starter for Red Power fans and it does represent what might have been in the farm tractor world.